go to your OneDrive folder on your computer. Under the status, you should be able to see different symbols. Day by day, OneDrive is getting more and more complicated. To be able to better use OneDrive, you would need to understand the meaning of various status icons. The solid green check mark means that this file or folder has set up to always keep on this device. If you would right click on the folder, you could see the check mark next to always keep on this device. If you would click on it then it would remove it from always keep on this device then as you can see the status symbol has now changed to a green check mark with a white background that means the files would still be on your computer but it would not automatically download it back to your computer in the future if you see the cloud sign under the status then it means the file is still in the cloud and is not downloaded to your computer and in order to download the file from the cloud all you got to do is to double click to open it and then OneDrive would automatically download it to your computer. And finally, if you see a person's icon, it means this file or folder is shared with others. To find out with whom it is shared, first make sure to select that folder or file and then right click on it and then click on manage access here you should see three different tabs under the people tab you could see it says this folder has not been shared with anyone yet now if you will click on groups slash family and it is still not shared with any groups or family however if you will click on links you could see that there is a link and underneath it it says anyone with the link can edit that is why you get the person's icon that is the shared status icon because this folder is shared with others you can easily remove the share by clicking on the bin icon and then click on remove to delete the link and now you can close this if there is a status icon that I have missed and you want to learn more about it please let me know in the comments below and if this video was helpful please don't forget to subscribe and like to support my channel and finally you can find all my OneDrive tutorials in my OneDrive tutorials playlist